I'm going to tell you what you need to hear, not necessarily what you want to hear. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is Holden Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And today, I'm working with an investor from Cleveland named Ted. Ted, my man. I'm about to tell you what you need to hear, brother, not necessarily what you want to hear, right? Uh, so I don't want you to get upset uh, if it sounds like I'm beating you up a little bit because uh, I'm going to beat you up a little bit, I guess. Uh, it's nothing personal, bro. Uh, when you hire me, what you get is a steward of your money, right? I love money, okay? I don't want to watch you do anything to hurt money and to make money go away. I can't have you setting money on fire. Money is close to my heart, brother, so I'm going to protect the money. I'm going to protect your money, okay? And you kind of went over a plan you had of what you wanted to do, and you wanted my thoughts on the plan and this or that, right? So that's what I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you my full unbiased opinion on your plan, how well I think it could work, how well I think it, uh, or how well I think it could work, or how much I don't think it could work, things like that, right? So uh, if it gets a little rough, if it gets a little hot in the kitchen, dog, I apologize. But, dude, I'm doing it because I love your money, and I want you to have more of it and make more of it, right? So everybody else out there watching this show, if you, if you want to uh, purchase your own episodes of the MLS Search and Analysis Show, start working with me and my team because you want me to, like, be your buddy and get a beer with you, watch a game, talk shop, hang out. You're in the wrong fucking place, motherfuckers, because that's not what's going to happen. But if you want me to fucking whoop your ass into making sure you make smart financial decisions, send my team an email, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your number. We'll talk about it. Now... This property, Ted, this is what you sent me, right? So there's there's a, there's a decent amount of stuff we got to unpack here, brother. All right. So the address is 4171 East 74th Cleveland, 44105. You just recently sent me this one. You wanted my thoughts. Your plan uh, is to, to possibly buy this and then flip it to another investor, okay? The very, the very first thing we got to talk about, I, I don't know where you're getting your data, uh, what you're looking at, like where you found this property. I'm guessing maybe like Zillow or Realtor.com because uh, as I make this show for you, dude, it is, what is it, like April 5th or April 6th, right? It's like April 5th or April 6th, and you had just emailed me this a couple days ago. Now, this particular property has already sold, and it actually went off market under contract back in January, right? So, you know, if it's April, let me see my date here. It's April 6th right now. I think you emailed this to me a few days ago, right? So let's say you emailed this to me like the beginning of April. You're already like two months behind on when this thing went under, went pending, right? Right here's the date. It actually went off market on January 25th, 2021, and it actually sold on March 4th, 2021. So... Wherever you're grabbing your data from, bro, this is the first thing we're going to need to do. You got to stop looking at that source, okay, because that source is way outdated. What I need you to do, what I want you to do is go to HoltonWise.com, brother, okay? Property search for sale tab. Click that. Cruise on down to the bottom. Click here for MLS access, okay? This is my broker access. You are going to get access to the MLS just like I have access to the MLS. If you're looking at whatever websites you're looking at, dude, you're again, you're you're two months behind the party, bro, right? You can't even bid on this property. It's gone. It's done, right? It's nowhere, nowhere to be had. So you go here, order yourself some real-time MLS feeds, right? And the cool thing is I, I got a couple things for you. I'm going to get you speed, right? So the moment properties become available or not become available, you will get notified. The moment I get notified, the moment the other 5,000 or so agents in this market get notified. So you're going to be on the same wavelength as us as far as the speed in which you get your data. That's number one. Number two, you are going to be able to uh, filter. I have already gone in and filtered it out. So you're going to be able to choose feeds that have been pre-filtered for you to what makes sense for your risk 
tolerance, okay? So like up top, I got the seller finance deal. So if you're interested in those, great, get those. If you're interested in properties that would make sense for flips, like bank owns, REO, shit like that, get that, right? But more importantly than that, dude, over here, I got everything, like, um, just uh, sorted out through the, the neighborhood quality, right? Your A class, singles, multis, apartments, B, single, multis, apartments, et cetera, et cetera. I want you to figure out what your risk tolerance is going to be and then get that feed. If it's going to be F class, if it's going to be D class, C class, et cetera, right? I think after this video, you'll have that narrowed down because that brings me to the next thing I want to talk to you about, right? The classes. And when I say A, B, C, D, or F, what I'm referring to is the guide I created. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods, brother. It's in the show notes below. Familiarize yourself with that. This particular neighborhood, this property that you showed me, right? This is what I would consider to be an F-grade neighborhood, okay? So in my opinion, Ted, for your plan, I don't even think an F-grade neighborhood is going to make sense, right? Reason being, you told me you wanted to, to possibly flip this to other investors. I mean, like, bro, there's nothing to fucking flip, really. Uh, this thing sold at 30 k like, I don't know what, like, if you buy it at 30, what are we going to put into it? Put in another 30? What are we going to sell it for, right? In the F-grade neighborhoods, dude, like, the ARV is super-duper low. And that, you know, brings me to my next point, uh, which would be your budget, what you have going on, right? You have 40 k in cash, and then you also have $30,000 in 0% interest credit card for 11 months, okay? So technically, you have 70 grand to work with. But in reality, you have 40000 in safe money and then 30000 in crazy money, okay? I say crazy money because I think it would be crazy for you to try to do uh, a flip with uh, no interest credit card like that, right? I get it, right? It's 0% interest so long as you can go in, acquire the asset, use that money, and then uh, get get everything sold and done in that 11 months, no harm, no foul. But if you don't, right, what are they going to charge you? Your normal, uh, a, 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 you know, what the heck is it called? APR, what's the interest rate? APR, annualized percentage rate. Ah, you know, the normal interest rate, right? Wh whatever the fuck that is, right? Probably 20%, 25%, 28%. Ah, it's going to be ridiculously high, right? Uh, the other thing is you have that 30 k uh, Is it just like, can you get a cash advance? Like, if it's a cash advance, I guess technically it could work. If it's not a cash advance, you can't, like, go to a title company and just give them your Discover number. That's not how it works. You need a cash advance, right? But in either scenario, Ted, I, I don't think that that's what you want to do, right? Uh, like, for this property, like, I don't really see how you would flip this particular property and make money, right? Like, just the ARV is going to be way too low in these, like, F-grade neighborhoods. So the first thing I would advise you to do... Is looking to a safer neighborhood. Uh, probably D would be okay. Uh, more preferably like C. And then from there, I would probably talk you out of trying to do any type of flipping or any type of burr, right? Because just how you're utilizing your money is just way too high risk, bro. You have $40,000 in safe cash. What I'd rather see you do is use that $40,000 as a down payment on like a C grade duplex, right? You're looking at something right now in the market that's going to be like a hundred grand. So you could probably get two of them, right? You got 40 G's, right? 90 to 100 grand. So you're very close to being able to come in 2025 20, down, get yourself two quality C grade duplexes, and then you're going to get 30 year loans, fixed interest loans, loan to loans, and you can collect some safe cash flow. For you, you would be risking spending. All of your money, your 40k in cash, and then taking on just an exorbitant risk by uh, taking out this 30k in extremely high risk uh, credit lines. And if it goes bad, bro, you're fucked, right? Like when you're investing, the more important thing is going to be return of capital than return on capital. So like I like the YOLO mentality, but like as a steward of your money, as you being a brand new investor, I think it would be irresponsible of me to advise you to attempt to do something so risky this early in the game. Lenders, come on. Why is this wall still empty? You should be advertising on Holton Wise TV.
right? Like, if you got, you know, if you're a dude who's talking to me, and you're like, yo, man, this is my day job. I, you know, I'm a day, you know, I talk to investors all the time, like day traders, and, you know, I got like 400K. I'm interested in real estate. Let me, you know, take a stab at, see what's going down, and see if I can make a little money, right? Guys like that, you know, we could talk about higher risk stuff, right? Because, I mean, it sounds crazy, but sometimes people, you know, they have 400K allocated towards, like, a new investment venture. And, like, if things go well, great. If things don't go well, like, they're going to continue on with their lives, right? But with you, I, I can't take that stance, brother, because I just feel like uh, getting into the flipping game, uh, you know, it's, it's a tough business, number one. Number two, you need to have the money in cash available to make these offers so if your plan really is to do a cash advance because again that's the only way it would work on that credit card well as soon as you do that cash advance you're gonna have to do that cash advance before we could even put in the offers so your 11 months is already ticking right your time your ticking time bomb just keeps ticking 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 so we gotta go in do videos find you a property go through the inspection process close on the property renovate the property remove tenants that might be in there it's just you're jumping everything up against the gun yeah could it work sure could you make a little bit of money possibly uh not like a crazy amount because again that still only puts you at 70k which really isn't that much uh but more likely than not dude i i i think you're gonna be just jamming up against the end of that thing and then boom you're gonna get nailed with freaking 30 percent interest and it's it's a whole nightmare you're totally in debt and you're underwater so i don't want to see you go down that path right so my thoughts on that plan is flips not for you bird deals not for you you don't have enough cash right now bro what i want to see you do is lower impact less risk c grade stuff and however you're getting the data for properties like this stop go back to to over here, like I showed you, right? It's super cheap. They're like 30 bucks lifetime, right? As long as you log in once a month, you get these for life. I want you to go in and get feeds so you can get real-time data uh, for what I would prefer you do, which would be C-class single family, C-class multis. I think that's where your bread's going to be buttered. And then going forward, bro, we could look at uh, just long-term investments where we could take your 40, put it into a safe loan product and as a matter of fact i got a property that i have in mind that i've looked at that i think will make perfect sense for what i want to see you do so i'm going to end this video and i'm going to start filming that one for you right now thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment